In this video, we'll look at everything you need to know to run the Reveal for Histamine Visual Qualitative Test. This video serves only as a companion to the written material provided with the test kit. To ensure accuracy, please read and follow the written instructions in their entirety. Remember, it is important to use good laboratory practices. This includes wearing proper PPE and ensuring all lab equipment is working properly and is calibrated in accordance with your laboratory's policies. Each kit contains supplies to test 25 samples. The kit includes 25 Reveal for Histamine test strips, 25 red sample dilution cups, 25 clear sample cups, one bottle of sample diluent. To conduct the test, you will also need a graduated cylinder, sample extraction bottles, sample collection tubes, a blender, a scale capable of weighing 10 to 50 grams, a 100 microliter pipetter, one to 200 microliter pipette tips, a 1000 microliter pipetter, 100 to 1000 microliter pipette tips, rack for reveal sample cups, a timer, waterproof marker, paper towels or equivalent absorbent material, and distilled or deionized water. Remember to always store the test strips in the stay dry tube at room temperature. The kit should be stored at room temperature when not in use. Do not use kit components beyond the expiration date. Be sure to never use glassware as histamine can adhere to glass and affect results. To prepare the sample, gather all the materials needed. The sample should be prepared according to the kit inserts instructions for the commodity type being tested. Sample preparation. To prepare canned tuna, place the entire contents of the can or pouch into a blender. Blend until homogenous. Store the sample at two to eight degrees Celsius until ready to run the test. To prepare fresh or thawed frozen raw fish, clean and eviscerate three fish. Cut three cross-sectional pieces, two and a half centimeters thick, from the back of the pectoral fin, halfway to the vent, and one posterior to the vent. Debone slices and blend or grind combined samples until homogenous. Store samples at two to eight degrees Celsius until ready to test. Extraction procedure. Add 10 grams of the homogenous sample to a clean disposable extraction bottle. Add 190 milliliters of deionized water to the extraction bottle. Tightly cap and vigorously shake the bottle for 15 to 20 seconds to suspend the sample in the water. Wait approximately five minutes and then shake the bottle for 15 to 20 seconds to resuspend the sample. Wait an additional five minutes and again shake the bottle for 15 to 20 seconds to resuspend the sample. Allow the tissue to settle to the bottom of the bottle for about 30 seconds. The sample is now ready for testing. Test procedure. Place the appropriate number of red sample dilution cups and clear sample cups in a sample cup rack. Label cups if necessary. Add 100 microliters of sample extract to each red sample dilution cup. Add 1,000 microliters of sample diluent to each red sample dilution cup. Mix by pipetting up and down five times. Transfer 100 microliters of diluted sample extract to a clear sample cup. Place a new reveal for histamine test strip with the sample end down into the sample cup and set timer for five minutes. Ensure the test strip comes into contact with liquid and begins to wick. Allow the test strip to develop in the sample cup for five minutes. Remove the strip and read results visually by holding the strip up to line of sight. Strip must be read within 30 seconds after the five minute incubation. Test interpretation. Negative result. If a line forms in the test zone and another line forms in the control zone within five minutes, the sample contains less than 50 parts per million histamine. Positive results. If after the full five minutes, there is no visible line in the test zone, but a visible line in the control zone, 
the sample contains at least 50 parts per million histamine. As a note, the presence of the control line, regardless of intensity, indicates a valid test. If the control line is absent, the test is invalid. Observations should be made immediately following the five minute development. Observations after five minutes may be inaccurate due to overdevelopment of the device. Positives can be confirmed by Neogen's Reveal Q Plus for histamine, Veritox for histamine, or HPLC. Contact your Neogen representative for more information or with any questions.